Today I'm making uh, two cups of rice with a pot. And this is a Japanese measuring cup, which is 180 milliliter. So two cups of this. The first important process is washing the rice. But the first one, you have to strain it right away. You see how white it is? And if you keep leaving the in the water, the rice starts absorbing this water too much. So you want to strain it right away. And then after you strain it twice quickly, with a hand like this, in the circular motions, about 15 to 20 times cycle. Not too strong because you don't want to break your rice. I wash it, usually wash about three times and then soak the rice in the water about half an hour. So it's been half an hour, the rice is sitting in the water and I want to show you how the rice looks different before and after soaking in the water. So you see that how the rice is more whiter color. So this is a sign that it's already absorbed enough water. So if it's like a summertime, it could be fa faster than half an hour. When it's colder, it probably takes you one hour to get this color. So now we have fully soaked rice and we're going to put it in a pot. And then we're going to put in the same volume of water, so it's going to be two cups. So whatever the measurement, the measuring cups you're using, just add exactly the same amount of water. And then make it flat. And then put the covers on and then start cooking. So for this, any kind of pot works as far as it seals perfectly. And you start placing on the medium strong to medium heat and cook it and uh, cook it until it starts boiling and as opposed to like a other Asian countries long grain rice Japanese short grain rice is preferred to cook under the pressure so we don't really check in to see if it's boiling or not maybe just once to see the boiling that's fine but we want to keep the lid on as much as possible you just have to find out when it starts boiling and once it starts boiling we're gonna time it for 10 minutes and then after 10 minutes we turn it off the heat and then wait for 10 minutes now we started here the water starts boiling so we'll check it Let's see it's boiling so now we're gonna turn the heat a little lower and wait for another 10 minutes. So 10 minutes passed. So now, without touching the lid off, just turn off the heat and wait for another 10 minutes. So now it's ready. Then don't forget to flip the bottom to the top and mix well. This is an important process. Mix so 
just don't leave it as the rice gets stick to each other. And this way it's more like airy. This could be a paper towel or cheesecloth so that the water doesn't drip into the rice, onto the rice. So this is it.